Hey, what's good, everybody? P got here. It's early as hell. It's um like six fifteen. Um, you know, I actually prefer to be up at night, but I wanted to get up early because I have a special friend that I wanted to introduce you guys to. We went to college together, y'all. Uh, Corey. Um, hey, what's up, Bremius? Uh, Corey from Bridgewater College. Uh, he started off as a football player, and he is doing big things. He has the kind of fitness programs that I would definitely join if I was stateside still, but I'm not stateside. He's actually based in San Diego. What's up, Corey? What's happening? It's been like 100 years since I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get to see me every day on, on social media. I do, I do, and that's the beauty of the internet at the moment. So um, I know that you are a founder of Spin and Go. You've been doing lots of collaborations, but the, the cool thing is I get to see you doing, you know, live, uh, well, maybe not live, but video shots of whether you're at the gym or outside enjoying the weather, uh, and you actually have, you know, uh, cycles and everything out. It's it's so cool to see the things that you're doing. So I'm really excited to have you on here. Will you mind telling people where you started, though? I mean, I knew you as a football player at Bridgewater. I right. used to feed you over at, you know, the Eagle's Nest. But outside <laughs> of that, I mean, we went our separate ways, right? Right. We sure did. We sure did. Yeah. After college, I pretty much uh, went to run my cousin's gym in Bethesda, Maryland. Got it. Yeah. Baltimore, well, or Bethesda, yeah. A second gym in downtown DC. Okay. Uh, we were kind of like a amenity to the to the building, so we were hired to run their facility. So awesome. we were having trainers, we had classes going, you know, yoga, spin classes, ab classes, the whole nine for the employees of that building. Um, nice. Okay. Carried that on and opened several more, and I think they have about seven facilities open now where they actually uh, wow. run. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome though because that means you you've been doing this forever then you've been doing this since you got out of college you um you I, i've seen that you're sorry i've been in fitness for about 19 years that's awesome that's and really awesome graduated two that well i graduated in 99 but i walked in 2000 yes um because i knew you for a short period of time because i graduated in 2003 um right. but right now when i was looking at your page and everything you have um team building and, you know, uh, group exercises for corporate people, you know, corporate groups as well. And you recently had a collaboration as well, didn't you? Will you tell us about that a little bit? Uh, yeah. So what we do, so what I do is I offer uh, boot camps and mm -hmm. personal training and yoga as well to corporate offices. Um, I, yep. I, there's a huge need after moving from D.C. to San Diego. Uh, we were, made a big impact by going to corporate offices and having them work out with us. Um, right. So I saw here in San Diego, as much as it's beautiful outside, most of these offices actually do have gyms inside of them, and they have outdoor. Oh, okay. We can utilize both. Um, oh, perfect. Yeah, so I've been collabing with different companies like Pro Flowers and Vistage, to name a few. Um, and then we started Spin and Go uh, with my brother-in-law. Another another um, idea of bringing fitness to you. Um, right. So there's no excuse. We feel that uh, most companies want to keep their employees at work at bay around yep. the office. You yep. know, you have them leave an office, the more time they spend away from the office, the more mu the more time they spend not working. Uh, so if you yeah. go and offer them these services, they're more uh, inclined to uh, agree to your services. That's awesome. So just out of curiosity, when you go to market those things, you probably approach HR first, correct? Or like a, a marketing person, then you end up with HR. Yeah, so basically my our direct, we go to, straight to HR managers and benefits managers. Um, those Very are the guys cool. that are making the decisions on what to bring into their facilities and what not to have in their facilities. Um, exactly. That's the that's our target um, as we move forward with this big this big venture of spin and go. That's so cool. I really love it because to see all these bikes, you know, outside in a, a field or whatever, it's like, okay, those weren't there before. Obviously, you had to cart all that stuff there and set it up, and then people, yeah, that's a lot of work on your part, but it's very convenient for um, for employees and for people that, you know, are looking to get together and do something social instead of sitting on their phone and scrolling through an Instagram feed. You don't get you don't get fit that way. Um, I saw that you also offer um, pre- and postnatal fitness. How did you get into that? Well, most of my clients um, are women. <laughs> they have been my whole career. And I found that I had a great um, attraction or uh, women that were in the workplace and also having babies were attracted to, to what I was doing because I take so much care and pride in what I do. Again, just to go back a little bit, I've been in this for 17 years. And from what I studied at Bridgewater, uh, health and science, kinesiology, okay. anatomy, it made me uh, a well-rounded person 
and yeah. I've never had one injury. So I pride myself off of making sure people are safe, as well as getting women back on the ball after they have their baby and stay yeah. on the ball after they have their baby. Because it's right. so important for you to stay in shape for what's boiling up in your stomach. Uh, yeah, baby. people don't understand. Oh, and it's <laughs> tough. It's not so. I started, I, you know, my idea was to keep the hips strong, you know, the back strong. Of course, the core, you continue to work yeah. while you're pregnant. Most people, there was this myth that you shouldn't be working out when you're pregnant, which is, you know. And if, that's if, kind if, of out the water now. Like, that's, yeah, that's no longer the case. But if you think about our parents, our parents yeah. worked. Yeah. Grand, you know, my grandparents' parents, they were all working, farming, doing this, that, and the other. Exactly. And, they stopped, had the baby, and went right back to work. Look at me. I'm doing good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know people got scared and they didn't have the right knowledge. So, you know, it's, it's very important to uh, educate uh, yeah. as many people as possible, the, the people you come across, and just get them involved in understanding that their body needs to move to stay to benefit through life in general, you know, to benefit for themselves, for their family, for their kids, you know, and then once they have these kids, you know, I've had a ton of moms that still have, they bring their mom their kids to the camp oh that's cool uh, uh moms that bring their dogs as well yeah. it's a, it's it's really ingrained when, and once you bring your kids something like that and they come often it's really ingrained in the kid and helps them kind of understand and they oh, look forward to it know. and they kind of like help you know encourage yeah. you to come on let's get mom we gotta go let's go <laughs> yeah. you look around and some of the kids start doing push-ups and you know squats with them and, yeah they watch um, everything they watch everything and they and, and they're like sponges, you know, kids are. Yeah. So it's a great way to get them involved and get them understanding that movement is important and what their parents yes. are doing. So it all it trickles down, you know. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I was curious, um, because I mean I learned the hard way, right? So a lot of people, yes, of course, they're trying to lose weight, they're trying to look good and everything. But for me, I had the opposite problem. Uh, once I had my baby, I was losing weight really fast, but I couldn't stay strong. So for me, it was like, yeah, I need to move or my back's going to ache. It's going to hurt me to like, you know, bend her and pick her up or run after her. Like she's mm -hmm. eight now. And I mean, I keep up fine and I'm I'm glad and I'm grateful for that. But that's something I had to figure out on my own. So you providing that service is major to me because that's not something I had. Like I didn't have like a friendly person encouraging people, letting them know that it's not dangerous. It's not, you know, you're not overworking your system. You're just a little bit of movement every day goes a long way, and I'm really glad you're doing that. Um, you studied kinesiology, uh, you know, nutrition and fitness. I know you do a lot with nutrition because you show us your uh, your shake videos sometimes <laughs> on Instagram. Too. This is so cool, um, and I love your energy. You've never, I've never not seen you with a smile on your face. So tell me a little bit more about your um, your nutrition regimen. I know you do smoothies. What else do you do? Um, I do a muscle. Um... It's called a muscle strength pill. What it does is while your body's not, while I'm not up or working, when you go to sleep, it kind of, it's like a muscle recovery. So it gets your body okay. moving, things okay. working while you're sleeping. I do, you know, my protein shakes, as you mentioned, yeah. I have a thing I do with Avocare called Spark. It's an energy, okay. energy drink, but it also has 21 vitamins and minerals. Okay. Um, I also a pre-workout through Avocare and I do their um, rehydrate, which is electrolytes. Um, nice. Okay. Which, really helps when me. you're outside all the time you're gonna need it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and you know it, it, it just helps my body adapt you know and be yeah. ready to take different things that it needs to take on because and, and again when you're doing nutrition everything that that i do may not work well with your body everybody, yes everybody, i'm so glad you said that you know, mm -hmm. and you really have to find what works for you and don't get me wrong there's so many great options out there but just educate yourself and try them but find what works for you because you know, yes, I can give you the greatest thing and tell you this this works for me. But again, you turn around and you say, Corey, you gave me something that didn't work for me. You know, but right. it, 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 it will work. But the thing is, you have to do it consistently as well. And right. you have to, on top of it, that most people start something and stop. They start and stop right. for whatever reason. And the idea is to make it consistent. Um, and that's yes. the key to anything you do in life. You know, if you if you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth every morning, you do it every day. It's consistent. Yep. You don't even have to about it you know you yes. put your on the same way every day you know you you get in your bed you brush your teeth before you go to sleep everything is 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 a part of consistency that people don't really um internally think about or have to think about um which makes it interesting because people have to think about being fit people have to think about the next time they're going to work out or what shape to take or think about what they're going to eat you know the meal um, prep takes time all these things take time and that's what they see the time that it takes but everything takes time 
And like you said, if you do a little bit every day, it's just a little bit every day, but it's consistent. Your body's used to it then. And, and you can add up, you know, you can level up a little bit every time once you get that, that schedule going. Um, but right. that's the hard part. Like adding, it's a habit, you know, you're yes. creating a habit, you know, we've all, all through our life, nobody mentioned like, oh, you're doing this and that's called creating a habit, you know, yeah. so start into fitness, you know, you do it for so long and they say, what, 21 days, uh, is, is, it helps you form a habit or break a habit. Um, yes, absolutely. So kind of get involved in it and you start thinking about yourself <laughs> and thinking about uh, yeah. yourself because if you can't take care of yourself, how can you expect to take care of anybody else? You won't have the energy and people don't get that. And I know that only because I'm a mom, because I mean, before that we didn't think twice, you just you kept on going. But when you have, when you have a kid, it's not, it's not your life. It's our life. Suddenly. Yep. I mean, when you get married, it's like that too, but it's a little more difficult with a kid because they're dependent on you. So yep. yeah, absolutely. Everything matters. Everything. Every <laughs> now people think of fitness trainers as yes, you go in there, you kind of like boot camp, yell at people, make people do stuff, but you're not like that. You're one of those people that, you know, you seem like an all encompassing persona you uh, know very much about you know fitness obviously because you've been doing it forever um you know a lot about the nutrition we spoke about that a little bit but the way you motivate people as well it kind of reminds me of good morning vietnam do you remember that movie with uh revolver yes. williams <laughs> that like that yes. energy here good morning vietnam and that's why i wanted to put your video up there when i uh, when i promoted this uh, live because you have the energy every day and it's yeah. not that it's fake. You're not forcing it. That's just who you are. You've been like that. And people yeah. don't understand. You get coaches that want to motivate you for life. But you know what? It started with people that went to hair shops that you get to, you know, you get to counsel a little bit. You talk about problems a little bit and get it over with. Uh, you go to your fitness training. You talk about your problems. But, you know, that's that's where you get to the root of whatever's going on and why you can't form that habit. So I love that you do that as well. Do you want to tell me, like, how you stay motivated, that, that level of happiness and energy? You know, um, Life is, is precious, yes, you know, is. And, and each morning we have an opportunity to um, do better than the day before or be better. Yes. I really love what I do as it shows. Um, but the, the, the key is I am excited to get up. Yes. You know, I'm excited that I can put my feet on the ground. I can stand up and I can help people. You know, I look forward to what I, given my energy, some people don't have. So I try to give as much as I can so that other people can feel that same energy. It's and, contagious. And, I will tell you that. <laughs> like almost eat it, like, you know, devour yeah. it and make it a part of them. And you don't have to be rah, rah and ho, ho, ho. You, and, and you don't have to be motivating for everybody, but there are certain things you can say to a yeah. person or just an audience and get them excited about the next step. And my, yeah. and I love waking up. <laughs> I didn't used to when I was, you know, I didn't, waking up was a thing that was just like, I got to get up and go do, do this, do that. Do you that. have to, yeah. As, as an opportunity, you know, who can mm -hmm. I touch next? Who can I, um, you know, help be better, you know, be the better version of themselves. And it also helps and come, help me grow. It helped me become the best person that I can be in, in the same, in the same uh, voice. I love that. I really do. So San Diego, right? But you do travel, so anybody in San Diego, you have no excuse. Go find Corey, because he's amazing, as you can see. Uh, go look up his page. He has so many different types of classes, and yes, he does travel. So if you know, you know, you work in a company where a lot of people want to be fit, there's a gym, but no one's using it, go call him. Get him into your company, so he can go ahead and set that up for y'all. So at least you have, it's a little bit more social, right? Yeah. But it's also fit, and um, yeah, how could you go wrong with it? Go call people. Go call Corey. Go talk to your HR. Tell him, look, I know this guy. He, you know, he travels and lets us do our exercise and this stuff. Can we get him in here? Try. That's the, the best thing you can do for yourself is try. It, it increases your lifespan. It increases your quality of life. Why not? I don't see a problem with this at all. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're here to do, you know. And ultimately, we're here to add value to each other, you yes. know, as humans, you know. And, and, and this is the best way that I can add value to somebody else's life. And I'm going to continue yeah. to do it as as I can. You know, and, and as, as strong and as, as motivating and as inspirational as I can, because, you know, it's, it's all, all we have is each other, you know, exactly. And all this other stuff, none of that matters. You know, yeah. what we're doing right now, like what we're doing right now, we're, we haven't seen each other forever, we went to college together, and now we're yeah, doing a very interesting thing, these topics that are going to help other people, whether, you know, whether it's not about business per se, but it's about helping up. But it affects all of that. I mean, if you don't have the business, if you don't have the energy to get up in the morning, you're not going to attack your passion with that kind of energy either. You're not going to get anything done. You're going to be like, 
I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to sit here. So instead of all of that, I mean, why not put it to work? Right. The amount of things you accomplish in a day because you're excited about life versus the amount of things people, you know, that are waiting for Friday to come around so they can hit the bar is completely different. We still have the same 24 hours, but we get all kinds of shit done. Here I exactly. am in Singapore. I'm following you in San Diego. You know, As I'm excited. <laughs> you get me excited. You remind me, hey, I should be happy about my life. <laughs> you, you have to be busy, and we can't take it for granted because it's, it's so short, you know, and, and time flies and people, yes. you know, move and things happen. Stay connected. Yeah. Help each other exactly. out. Exactly. Exactly. It only totally benefits you. Oh, it, Absolutely. It, 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 and if it benefits you, obviously, like you, you're contagious. Your energy is contagious. I get excited about it. That's why I reached out again. Um, people see you, they get excited. And if you start to change and you start to make, you know, better decisions for yourself and you start feel better, you know, feeling better about your life, like we talked about, your husband will feel it, your wife will feel it, you'll see one. No, this is amazing. This is a great way to get started. And you kind of cover the whole gamut of life. You have nutrition, you have exercise, you have motivation. What else do you need? Go, go attack your life. Go happen to your life, people. <laughs> life with enthusiasm. Every Hell yeah. Every Every day, every day. Use music. I love that you use music. I love the way that you dance when you um, when you do your smoothie videos. It's so cool. Um, but the fact that you have that level of confidence and that level of comfort with who you are, that's what I want for everybody, yo. Everybody needs to stop hiding. Be yourself. Stop worrying about what Instagram wants to see. They don't care. They don't really care. You could change everything. And you are not like other um, other fitness people. We have a lot of kids that you know went to college with us and that are doing fitness, but they don't do it like you. No, they do know. it their own way. And that's good because you talked about, it. you know, what works for you may not work for somebody else. Yep. As long as you're having fun, you know, exactly. And you're making other people happy and healthy. It's, it's a win win. Exactly. So again, I'm going to tell y'all anybody in San Diego that's watching. All right. Go find Corey. Get to know him first. You like his energy like I like his energy? Go talk to HR. Okay. Go get him in your office. Get this stuff started because. This is important, you guys. This is how we really live our lives and don't just exist. Okay. Yep. All right, Corey, I love you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Thank I you. will head off to get, you know, school started. <laughs> I, I hear that. I hear that. You stay in it. Yeah, man. You too, man. Take care. Bye. Thank you. You too.